Hello everyone, welcome back to my Mentic Tips. Thanks for showing interest in this video. In this video, we are going to talk about one popular soundbar and a popular home theater under the price range of 20,000 rupees. Yes, the products are HD RT3 and HD IV300 from Sony. These two products are in the market for quite some time and these two products are already proven their stability in the market. So let's analyze which product you are going to choose out of these two over another. We have done a lot of research in making this video. So while watching this video, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to Mymon Tech Tips for more such quality tech videos. We post tech videos like this regularly. So without wasting your time, let's dive into the video. The Sony HD RT3 was launched in the year 2017, whereas IV300 was launched in the year 2014. After that, they have upgraded the home theater and launched in the year 2017 with the new version. When it comes to the pricing, HD IV300 is around 22,000 rupees, whereas HD RT3 is around 18,000 rupees. IV300 is 5.1 channel and HD RT3 is also 5.1 channel. Yes, we are going to do a comparison between a soundbar and a home theater, but still is fine because a lot of people will be in a confusion which they're gonna choose. So we are going to analyze this product in seven different categories. One is wall mounting options, speaker button impedance, how the voice clarity, surround sound and bass gonna respond to that, supported audio formats, sound modes and features, connectivity options, dimension of the soundbar as well as the buying gate. So by end of this video you will get a clear idea whether you have to buy the soundbar or the home theater we are talking in this video. Whether it's a desktop speaker or a home theater or a soundbar, what matters the most is the speaker placement. When it comes to the HD IV300, it's gonna give two wall mounting options. One is actual 5.1 wall mounting options and other is all front speaker wall mounting options. This all front speaker wall mounting options will be really handy in terms of we are playing two channel audio and similarly HD RT3 also gonna support the same thing like 5.1 surround wall mounting options as well as all front channel wall mounting options it's always advised to place the speaker in a 5.1 surround sound mode but still sometimes you may have to use this all front mode in some cases the watt of the speaker is directly proportional to the sound whereas the impedance ohm of the speaker is the resistance which is indirectly proportional to the loudness of the sound so if you are having a high voltage speaker the speaker is going to give more sound where in terms if you are giving a high impedance speaker the speaker is going to give less sound with that understanding let's see what is the watt and impedance of IV300 as well as RT3 IV300 comes up with a massive 1000 watt package where the center channel is 250 watt and 6 ohm front left surround right or 75 watt and 3 ohm here the subwoofer also has a massive watt of 250 watts and 6 ohm when it comes to the RT3, it has 170 watt and 4 ohm center channel speaker and the surround speakers are 65 watt and 2.5 ohm. In terms of subwoofer, the RT3 has 170 watt and 4 ohm. If a speaker is having a higher impedance, because of its higher resistance, it is going to draw only less watt from the amplifier. So the life of the amplifier is going to last for a long when compared to the lesser impedance speakers. With the different watt and impedance of the speakers in the sound system, let's see IV300 and RT3 gonna perform in different scenarios. When it comes to the voice clarity, the center channel gonna play the major role, where HD IV300 has 250 watt and 6 ohm, whereas HD RT3 has 170 watt and 4 ohm. There is only an 80 watt difference, where RT3 has lesser 2 ohm, which means both ultimately gonna give similar performance where IV300 should be having a clean sound whereas RT3 may produce some distortion when compared to IV300. So when it comes to the surround sound, IV300 is having 75 watt. When it compared to the center channel of 250 watt, 75 watt is less. But they are compensating with the 3 ohm speaker instead of a 6 ohm speaker which gonna give more loud. Whereas HD RT3 has 65 watt and 2.5 ohm speaker. It clearly shows that there is a small dip in voltage and impedance of HD RT3 which shows it is going to produce similar sound when compared to IV300. When it comes to the bass, HD S20R has 250 watt and 6 ohm whereas HD RT3 has 170 watt and 4 ohm. There is an increase in watt and increase in ohm whereas HD RT3 has decrease in watt but decrease in ohm. IV300 
all over gonna give a clear sound when compared to HD RT3. When it comes to the audio format support, IV300 gonna win the race with flying colors because it can support Dolby Digital as well as DTS. The HD IV300 can support linear PCM up to 5.1 channel whereas RT3 can support only linear PCM 2 channel. Linear PCM is none other than the stereo channel support. If you have a device which doesn't have any Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus encoding with the stereo channel itself you can get 5.1 surround with the HD IV300. When it comes to RT3 it again gonna support only Dolby Digital and DTS support is not there. In terms of USB video support HD IV300 can play full HD videos whereas HD RT3 can play only 720 pixel HD videos from the USB content. So playing the movies from hard disk is going to be really handy in terms of IV300. When it comes to the sound features, since both this product HD RT3 soundbar and IV300 is from Sony, they all gonna share similar software. HD RT3 comes up with clear audio plus, game mode, movie mode, music mode and standard mode. HD RT3 comes up with clear audio plus, game, sports, movie, music and standard mode. IV300 also comes up with clear audio plus, movie, music, game and night mode. It also has enhanced football mode where it gonna give stadium like feel while watching football matches. Clear audio plus is used to enhance the 2 channel audio output and play it in the 5 channel audio. So clear channel audio plus is an important feature. It's good that both the product had that clear audio plus sound feature. Basically RT3 is a soundbar and IV300 is a home theater. So let's see what are the connecting options these two products gonna get. When it comes to HD RT3, it gonna have one optical input, HDMI input, Bluetooth, USB and NFC. Whereas HD IV300 has two HDMI cable, one optical input, TV, coaxial input, screen mirroring via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth audio, USB, FM and NFC. One major thing is HD IV300 gonna have 4K Ultra HD pass through. For example, if you have an Amazon 4K 5 stick, you can plug that directly into the home theater amplifier using the HDMI in and the HDMI out you can connect it to the TV. Even if it's a 2.0 desktop speaker or a soundbar or even a Bluetooth speaker, speaker placement is the major factor which decides the sound quality. For the best placement of the speaker, the dimension of the speaker is a major driving factor. Let's see how the dimension of the speaker of the soundbar and the home theater gonna affect the speaker placement and the sound quality. When it comes to HD RT3, it has a 900cm of length whereas IV300 has only individual speaker so that you can customize as much as you want. As you can see in the screen, to get an actual good surround sound, the distance between the front left and the center and the front right and the listener should be equal and similarly the surround left and surround right speaker distance to the listener also should be equal. In soundbar basically it is really hard to achieve whereas in HD IV300 based on the customized speaker position it will be easy for us to achieve the perfect triangle position as you can see the screen to achieve better sound quality. So when it comes to the buying gate if you have a medium or large room, HD RT3 going to be a better option. But HD IV300 is only suitable for the large room. The main reason is it has a huge 1000 watt speakers and a huge subwoofer. With the subwoofer, it's like really difficult to listen to music or watch movies in a small room. So having a bigger hall is more appropriate for HD IV300. When it comes to TV size, HD RT3 suits more for a TV size around 50 inch. So when it comes to the HD IV300, it can be paired with TV more than 50 inch, but still it can be used for big screen like projector as well. Because of its speaker placement, you can easily place the speaker at the left corner and right corner of the display to get the actual surround feel. When it comes to the listener position, HD RT3 is more suitable when the listener position is more than 5 feet. But in terms of IV300, listener position doesn't matter at all. When it comes to the bass, HD RT3 gonna give punchy bass because of its high voltage and lower impedance. 
when it comes to hd iv300 it's gonna give more punchy pace sometimes it's an overkill if you guys go and read the ratings of these iv300 lot of people complaining that the subwoofer is spoiling the movie watching or the music experience so it's always advised to keep the subwoofer sound really low in iv300 when it comes to the usb support hd rt3 can support only hd videos but hd iv300 gonna support full hd video if you have lot of movie collection in a hard disk then definitely iv300 is a better option ott i don't think this point is going to affect much in the buying guide one important factor is the 4k pass through the 4k pass through will be really handy in terms of if your tv doesn't have an hdmi arc you can directly plug in the smart device into the home theater amplifier and then connect the hdmi out from the home theater to the tv to get the 4k output most of us think that it's not going to be really useful when it comes to the 4k pass through because most of the tv has the hdmi arc functionality but let's assume down the line if you are planning to buy a projector then this will be really helpful because most of the projector doesn't come with an hdmi arc i hope this video is really useful for you guys if us please give a thumbs up to this video and if you guys have any questions regarding the soundbar or home theater please give a comment in the comment section below we'll try to answer as soon as possible till now we have answered all the comments we have got you can watch our other videos here and if you feel this video is really useful please subscribe to mymon tech tips for more such videos see you guys in next video until then bye bye thanks for watching